Isolation day 18. Hope everyone's keeping well. It has been a beautiful weekend. We've had sun on Saturday and Sunday. This weekend, fortunately, because of the weather, it didn't feel like I was in isolation at all. Yes, granted, I only managed to get out of the house once in the day, but even so, it was, um, it was a really nice weekend spent with the family. My blood sugars overnight, we've been working on the basal rate or the background insulin, and I'm quite comfortable from up until about four o'clock in the morning. But as we found before, it kept on dipping away after four o'clock till about six, seven, eight o'clock. If you have a look up here, you'll see that morning of the 5th of April, which was Sunday morning, 5.4, uh, five o'clock in the morning, 5.9, at half past seven, 20 past seven, 3.5, nine o'clock, 3.1. That was after taking, yes, you called it a jelly baby at 7.22. I'll, um, I'll show you the rest of the day in a minute, but the morning of this morning on the 6th of April, at three o'clock in the morning, it was 5.8, four o'clock, it was 5.4, and then five past five, it was 2.9. So you can see there's quite a dramatic drop. So what I've decided to do, have a look here at this little video. Current basal rate is between 12 o'clock and four in the morning, it's 0.85, and between four and eight o'clock in the morning, it's 0.95. I've decided to change from three o'clock in the morning because I'm seeing that five is probably the first time it's actually dipping away. So what I want to do is change from three o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock in the morning. I'm going to change my basal weight to 0.7.5 and we'll see where that goes tomorrow. Other than that, I just spent most of the day in the garden. So I was gardening, I was trampolining with the kids, trampolining, I was on the trampoline with the kids. My bloods have remained quite low most of the day. And as you can tell, I would like to get that up somewhat. And I'm hoping if I can get the morning sorted, then the rest of the day will follow. One other thing I've noticed is I went for a run at about half past eight last night. My bloods were 4.8 at 7.53. I then took 10 grams of carbs to try and take take it up. I waited 40 minutes, as you can tell, as I said I would, or 45 minutes, and I went for a run at 8.39, and I got back from my run and my bloods were 2.3, so clearly 10 grams isn't enough. What I need to do is I need to ensure that my blood sugar is up at six or seven before I even go out. Not, not a five, it's too low. Clearly, I'm going to have to correct that. This evening, I'm, um, I'm training at home, so I'm not going for a run this evening. I'm gonna give my legs a bit of a rest and I'll train again tomorrow. So the final part of last night, because the weather was so nice, I um, cut some wood up and we chucked it in the fire pit. You can see my, my kids having a little uh, dance around the fire yesterday. So that was pretty much it. I will leave you that, leave it there and we'll come back tomorrow and check on the basal rates and we'll talk about some other stuff. Look after yourself, make sure you keep those that two meters away from people. I will catch up with you soon.